Hello, a few months ago, I implemented OLED screen on my box radio. Over the past few months, I've thoroughly tested OLED screen box radio, and I've improved the modification skill. This mode can apply Radio Master black and white screen radios like TX12, TX12 MK2, Joro, MT12, and Pocket Radio. But Pocket Radio needs 1.54 inches OLED. This mode requires modified HTX firmware. Please refer to the description on below. The prototype used wiring and direct soldering to the PCB method, but some of my friends asked for drive-in style mode. So I add a few parts for drive-in style mode. Like this. This is the result. It is easy to install and maintain. These are parts for mode. For drive-in style mode, need a 0.5mm pitch 12-pin character board. Actually, only 7 pins are used. And a black cable. The black cable have the same side contact. 0.5mm pitch, 5cm length and 12 pins. I'll leave the specification of the part in the description. In addition to this, you will need AWG 30 wires, 2mm thick double-sided tape, fabric tape, and the Kapton tape. A bracket is needed to sold by the Radio Master. I got two OLED panels. One is Dimos and the other is a TGT. This time, I'm going to use a product of a TGT. TGT have more thinner PCB, so it is more favorable for clearance and also cheaper than Dimos. TGT is 1mm thick. Dimor is 1.5mm thick. The OLED spec is 2.42 inch, 128 by 64 resolution, SSD, 1309 compatible driver, and SPI interface. I cut the LCD bracket like this, using a cutter knife and a nipper. The plastic is not hard, so it is easy to cut with hand tools. Disassemble the OLED panel. Which part that connector is weak? Take care. When removing the OLED glass, apply heat using a hair dryer. Remove pin headers. The wiring is showing. I use a double 30 wire. Only 7 pins are used. An important thing of this modification is that the window and the OLED panel should be installed close together for clear visibility. This can be adjusted by placing a thick piece of tape under the OLED panel. If you are not using protective glass, you will get a clearer screen. And clear type shell will allow the OLED screen to stand out more. Now, parts are ready. It's time to assemble. 2mm thick double-sided tape, apply to the brake kit, remove the protective film, apply the thin double-sided tape here, then put in the OLED glass, take care. and attach the OLED panel to the, the bracket. Pay attention to short circuit and use Kapton tape for insulation.
take care of film cable mask the top of PCB in black for cosmetic reason fix the OLED glass with a thin double sided tape Pay attention to alignment when positioning the OLED glass on the PCB. Repeat this process by assembling it with the case. For insulation, apply Captain tape. Finish with a black and thin fabric tape. Finally, the drop-in style OLED merger is complete. When you're installing the firmware for OLED at the first time, you must connect the original LCD. Because the bootloader cannot drive OLED screen at this point. Download OLED firmware and my GitHub and install it with the original LCD. Enter the bootloader and pressing the firmware. It's normal that the screen doesn't come on when you leave the foot roller. Remove the original LCD. Install the OLED. Check the notch and keys. Connect the cables and check the final results. The delay for splash screen can adjust at radio setup menu. Check for alignment after assembly with the front case. The second method is to obtain a bit more visibility by reducing gaps between OLED panel and the outside. And the backlight is attached for cosmetic and optical reason. But optical reason is not sure. To mount the OLED panel as far as out as possible, I got a front case and plastic protective window. It's a little different than method one, but requires some cumbersome work. To install OLED glass as far out as possible, I cut a front case like this. And check the feed with the front case. Stack the bank light from original LCD. The reason for installing the bank light is that the OLED glass is not completely opaque. So I was curious about the effect of the bang light. In my opinion, the bang light is not effective for OLED display. Finally, stack the driver board for OLED. Others are same as method 1. The bracket also need cutting and insulation.